Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is Ron from DJI Enterprise again. Today, I will be covering DJI Terra Software version 4.0.1 update. Recently, we have released a new software, it's called the DJI Modified. It is a software that is used to perfect your mesh model generated from DJI Terra. Uh, whether you want to patch holes within your mesh model or fix texture. Now, the DJI Terra software starting from version 4 would have a built-in channel that can direct you to the DJI Modify software. In addition to that, uh, the 4.0 software also brought a new feature called the counter line generation. You can now generate a counter line drawing file from the LiDAR point cloud model. In addition, this update also supports measurement and grid lines for the vertical profile function within the LiDAR point cloud reconstruction mission. For all the current Xamius L1 or L2 users, we highly recommend you to update your Terra software to this version because in this version, we have increased the maximum size of the raw point cloud you can process significantly compared to the version earlier. You can find this information from the latest Terra user manual as well. For instance, if you have 16 gigabytes of computer RAM, previously you can only process four gigabytes of uh, raw point cloud data, and now you can process up to 15 gigabytes. That is nearly four times more. This means you can process bigger data sets with your current PC setup. And to download the Terra version 4.0.1, you can go to our official website and download the software. We also provide installation package for the Terra version 4.0.1, including the DJI Modify. Okay, with that being said, let's go back to the DJI Terra software and have a look at the new features. First of all, I would like to show you the vertical profile tool that was released in the previous version. And uh, as you can see, I have a data set that is classified. In addition to draw your vertical profile line inside DJI Terra and adjust the vertical profile with, for example, right now I'm just gonna select to 0.5 feet, for example, you actually now can also enable the grid lines. So this will give you a better understanding uh, of your scale. And now you can also do measurement as well, directly from the vertical profile too. And that will give you the distance, slope, horizontal distance, as well as vertical distance over here. So these are the changes to the vertical profile too. Next I would like to cover is going to be the counter line generate. Now you will find an option underneath the point cloud processing. It says counter. When you enable this, Terra would automatically enable the generate DEM option. And it would also enable ground point classification automatically. This is because in order to generate the counter line DJI, Terra software would need to have the digital elevation model generated and in order to have a digital elevation model generated, DJI Terra would have to have ground points classified. Now let's have a closer look at the counter options. When enable counter, you would find interval, datum, elevation annotation radius, discard invalid counter line option, and minimum counter length. I will go through these options each at a time. The interval options is simply a distance you define to space out these counter lines generated vertically. For instance, right now I have set to, let's say, one feet, and that means at one feet height interval, I would have a counter line generated to represent the elevation level. And the next option we have is datum. This option is used to define counterline elevation base level. For instance, right now I set this option to zero, which is also by default. That means my counterline base elevation level would match with my point cloud base elevation level. If I, for instance, set this to 100 feet, that means my counter base elevation level is 100 feet higher than my point cloud elevation base level. And the next option we have is elevation annotation radius. This is the radius distance you set for DJI Terra to annotate scatter elevation values across the model. 
And the last option we have is discard invalid counter lines. Enable this option will bring up this minimal counter length option. So any counter line got generated that is shorter than the minimal counter length you set would get removed from the generated drawing file. Okay, so these are all the settings within Terra software regarding counter lines. These drawing files got generated can be imported into third-party CAD software for visualization. For instance, I have this model processed with the counter line. Right now, I'm just going to go to the directory of this file, open Lighters folder, open this folder got generated called Terra underline counter. You'll find these three files, DXF, SHP, as well as the counter elevation underlying notes.csv file, this is the annotation file generated. Uh, DXF is the drawing file, SHP is the shape file. Now these are all the files got generated from Terra when enabled counter option. Okay, now I'm in a third party CAD software, I can select DXF import, then go to the DJ underlying contour folder that got generated. Now you'll find a DXF which is the drawing folder, select that and select the DXF file, then select open. And once the counter drawing is imported, I should be able to visualize it. Okay, and these are the main features we have from the Terra version 4.0.1. Stay tuned and I'll meet you in the next video.